Hi, I'm Luana Rubin from eQuilter.com. I'm here at the 2012 Houston Quilt Festival, and I'd like to take you on a little tour of my favorite quilts here. This intriguing abstract by Pat Pauly appears to be just an interesting mix of several different techniques, including discharging and painting, but it is about mummy bags and canopic jars. Who'd have thunk? This beautiful hand-painted silk piece has been really garnering a lot of attention at the show. It was created by two artists, Nancy Starrett Martin and Karen Sistek from Kentucky. And I can only imagine the photograph that this was inspired by. Isn't it gorgeous? This quilt is called Mabel 1952 REO by Susan Kane. And it is from photographs that she took of an old antique truck that she and her husband purchased together. And I'm starting to see a little bit of a trend here in that quilters are either using their husband's uh, leftover scraps or being inspired by the, uh, their husband's hobbies, perhaps, to make their quilts. So it's nice to see that the husbands are getting involved even more. This is called BBK, or Bookcase Before Kindles, by Margaret Kessler, who lives right here in Huntsville, Texas. And she has created another scrap quilt, so to speak, from her husband's ties and her stash, of course. When we come to these quilt shows, we really love to look at the quilts that are full of embellishment and detail and layers and texture. But you know, the modern quilt movement has reminded us that sometimes it's refreshing to look at something that is simple and beautiful. And this piece by Sarah Ann Smith has a very simple image with the shadow, but it's very effective, don't you think? This piece seems to be a simple quilt on first look, but if you take a close look, there's a lot of depth and texture in this complementary color palette of orange and purple, but if you look in the background, it's a hand-dyed background with spools and spools of silk thread, and the orange is actually a collage on flannel. The quilt was made by Helena Schaefer and Marion Peralt, and it's a very eye-popping quilt that, again, seems to be simple, but when you get close, you see that there's layers and layers of texture and depth. Often artists will work in a series, and here we have Priscilla Kibbe's working in a series of two, if leaves could choose and she has a beautiful combination of batiks and hand dyes and I really love the combination of textures and colors that she's used here. The Modern Quilt Guild has been using solids and using a very pure design aesthetic and a lot of it really reminds us of Nancy Crow's work. This piece is solid, it is very modern it does remind us of Nancy Crow, and yet she manages with color and with freeform piecing to make a statement that is very unique and I think very new and fresh. A hundred years ago, we used to make quilts out of scraps from clothing and bedding and feed sacks, but here's a contemporary rework of that idea. Pat Croft made this out of leftover shirts, work shirts, and cuffs and buttons from friends and family to commemorate her husband's 16 months of unemployment. It's a clever way of using your time while you're waiting. Liz Jones is an award-winning quilter from the UK and she's created a beautiful purple tone poem with this, don't you think? This quilt by Kathy Carter is inspired by Michelle Hill's William Morris applique designs. Notice how she has used printed fabrics to cut out the delicate William Morris applique motifs and then she's done a blanket stitch around the edge of the applique. Well, we can't look at all the quilts here, but I hope that this has inspired you to perhaps come here one day on your own. And in the meantime, thanks for your business at eQuilter.com. See you next time. Bye-bye.